Now, the hook I'm using is a, a medium wire hook, size 12. This is a full and mill hook. Uh, it's, a, it's a great fly. It's a great hook for dries. It's, it's good for wet flies, especially if you want uh, the fly to sit nearer the surface. I'll not go too deep. If you want a wee bit deeper, then use a, he a heavier wire. But this is the all-purpose medium, and it's a size 12. Um, thread I'm going to be using it is a traditional fly, so I'm going to tie it with the traditional silk. But if you haven't got the silk, just use your normal orange thread, uh, an 8 uni or something like that. Now, the first thing I've got to do is, because it's a traditional silk, just run the wax through it. It protects it. Um, this is a clear wax I'm using inside my finger, which just keeps the colour of the thread orange. It doesn't darken it too much, but it protects it and makes it stronger. Now, I'm going to tie it about a mill or so from the eye, start there, and the way down. Remove the waist and we'll wind our thread until we reach the barb of the hook, meaning when I let the thread go, it should be lined with the barb. Now the tail of this fly is from the tail of a, uh, a partridge. This is a partridge tail feather. You can buy them in patches like that. There's the tails. That's what the tail looks like. You get a nice cinnamon feather at the back. And obviously you get this nice speckled partridge at the, at the side. So we want three fibres for this. Bring them 90 degrees from the stem, tail them away. Marsh brown's got a nice long tail on it, so don't be shy with the tail length, at least the hook length. Turn at the back just to catch that on. There we are. We can then trim this the length of the body. Now the rib of the fly could be wire, or it could be this, the traditional in this case, it's a, a, it's a piezo silk again. Uh, this is a yellow, a primrose yellow, which is a rib. So I'm going to catch that on my turn. Just to see how it's sitting. That's fine. Now, basically, you can tidy this up uh, with the dubbin as you wind. It's, it's easy, it'll tie it in. Now, the dubbin uh, is taken from the base of the hair's ear. You can see where I've actually taken it away. And then, what I've done within my fingers, I've mixed it, just mixed it up. So you've got the dubbin there. Now, just a light amount, you don't. It's quite a big fly in the March Brown, so don't be. To a point, you, you need a bit of bulk to some point. But in this case, there's quite a lot of material there, so we'd lightly dub that on. And as we wind, we spin. And don't be worrying about thread showing through. That's the fly. That's why I'm using an orange thread. And as we wind up, we're actually tying in the, the rib as well as the waist of the tail fibres. Take your time, just add a wee bit more dubbing when you need it. Work your way up until you're happy, and then we rub the fly. Now, best to wax the silk for your rib. You'll see it showing through. Now, the wax I'm using is a prepared fly tires wax from Vineyards. There is a clear, if you want to use a cobbler's light wax, it's a stack of brown, it will darken the thread if you want, but not in this fly, just keep it the clear. So we tie off our rib, a wee quick look, our tail, just open it out, fibres, so you can see what it looks like. There we are, so it's sitting nice. Now the, the hackle. It's from the partridge body, it's a nice brown, well marked feather. So what we do is take away the fluff. And then I'm just going to take away what I don't need. Now it's a... They tie this in by the tip. So to locate the tip of the feather, I like to use my hackle pliers. So we just hold it like this. Pull back what we want. Trim away the tip, but leave it enough to tie it on. Wax your thread so you've got the grip. So when we come in, we go one, two, three, three turns, and then we wind this. Basically, I'm going to use up the whole hackle. So we do one turn in front of the other. As I say, don't worry about some orange thread showing through. That's what you want. That's the colour of the fly. That's why we're using orange thread. 
the snap there so go back in just hold the, the hackle you can then tighten back up you see you're folding the fibers back as a wind take your time there we are one two three now a wax thread has got lots of grip so there is plenty of grip there to hold the fibres. I'm just going to bring the thread back up ready for the wing, a couple of turns. Now that there would be classed as a March Brown spider, so if you just want to use the spider pattern, that's it. The wing, when you add the wing, is, well, there's quite a few wings you could use. You could use the even the, the wing, you could use the same as what you use in the tail, or you can use in this case. This is hen pheasant quill, this is from the wing. You need a right and a left. So I'm just going to bring out enough to form the wing and tear it away. So take away they don't need. Again, bring enough out to form the wing. Just then pick up your other side, bring them together. You're seeing the underside of the feather, I'm just lining up the tips. See what it looks like. I'm actually bringing my fingers through to so I can see the taper as well of the feather. Now obviously this, the natural curve is going to come round the sides. You can curve them away if you want. But me, the natural, you want it to curve into the fly. So we've got the length we want. So we fold this. So we've got a roof-like effect. We want the wing laying on top of the, the hook, pinching loop. One, two, just allow that thread to come through your fingers. So that's fine. Now as I say, the wax thread does grip, gives you plenty of grip. I come in with a fine pair of scissors and trim away the excess. Now what I like to do is obviously make sure there's wax there. Take the thread to the eye, build the thread or the head up from that point, three or four turns. Always keep the thread tight and then we can go back in and work finish. Heading back down. And then finish off. And then tighten it up, pull it, keep your nail on the side of the, the head or the hook, tighten it up. Come in, turn away. And there we are. Just take away any excess wax that may have built up when you pulled in the wet finish. And here we go, and that's your March Brown, this, as I say, this one's from uh, Brook and River Trouton by Edmonds and Lee. It's a lovely book. You get a copy of that, there's a lot of good patterns in there. And uh, as I say, you can mess about with this, you can use whatever threads you've got. Uh, you can rub the fly with gold, or you can just rub it with the, th the orange thread. I've Got many of us just with the own shred and the dub body. Just making sure the eyes clear and a piece of wire. And there we are. We are representing the March Brown with this one. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe and thank you for watching.